Baby, guilty, guilty, guilty. Democratic senator from New Jersey has been found guilty of basically selling his office for profit. Now, this is Senator Bob Menendez. The lady back here is his wife. She was supposed to be caught up in this court case too. However, well, she is, but they split it and are going to charge them separately. But she has come up with a medical moment or some medical things going on. And so the judge has delayed her trial indefinitely. But this man right here, baby, the jury then came back. The one that's the actual senator, the one in the seat of power, the one that they say they, well, I guess we can't say alleged because he's guilty. The one that used his office to profit the uh, 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 country of Egypt is guilty. Guilty. They found gold bars in this man's house. The thing, the, here's the gag. Let me back up and then go forward. They wasn't even looking at him. Now, he has been investigated before and prosecuted for bribery uh, years back, but the case fell apart. Well, baby, the DOJ, the FBI agents and whatnot was down there trying to do surveillance on somebody else in D.C. at a highfalutin uh, restaurant. And him and his wife was picked up on the interception because they were in the restaurant as well, colluding and such with officials over there in Egypt. Mind you, this man sat at the top of the Senate Foreign Relations Committee. Uh, well, he did now because the Democrats have the power in the Senate. And so they alleged, which has been proven true because he's guilty, that he was using his office to benefit Egypt. He would basically uh, uh, ghost write letters for them so that they could get other senators on board. He was pushing money and aid to the country because they was giving him money. They found a, a Mercedes that sister girl, I think, was driving. They found gold bars at the man house. They found money with his fingerprints on it and all the things. And so he's been found guilty. The Democrats have already, well, some of them had already been calling for him to resign, but most notable Senate Majority Leader Chuck Schumer has called for him to resign. He has come out somewhat defiant, which suggests he's not going to resign. He's definitely going to appeal the decision. But baby, the DLJ ain't playing. They're not playing. 